You've chosen the brand. Everyone, kindly look at Tullio's Adam's fig leaf. Gorgeous. Undeniably. Mm. But, does anyone notice anything particularly strange about this fig leaf? Anyone? Any ideas? It's just there, exactly, let's yes. explain. In most artistic depictions of Adam, there are four different kinds of fig leaf covering Biblical Adam's genitals. Oh, will you become Biblical Adam and show us the first type of fig leaf as worn by Biblical Adam? Of course. I'm gonna go jump in the infinity pool! Woo! So that first fig leaf was no fig leaf. That depiction, nude and fig leaf free, was permitted during less prudish times, as seen in... Ah, The Temptation of Adam by Masolino. And... The Expulsion from Paradise by Masaccio. And... Of course, Michelangelo's Adam and Eve. Okay, Adam, the second type of fig leaf. I'm gonna go jump in the infinity pool while walking through this field of waist-high grass for some reason. Now, when times got tighter, Adam's leaf really became more of a convenient placement of shrubbery and genitals, as seen in... Titian's The Fall of Man. And... Albrecht Dürer's Adam and Eve. And Rubens's Adam and Eve. Oh, Looks like nice. there's a butterfly who's nesting on the, on the tree as well. Get away from this. This is a priceless piece of art. Okay, Adam, please show us the third type of fig leaf. I'm going to go jump in the infinity pool while covering my genitals. Like this. And then, of course, we have one of the most commonly seen depictions of Adam in which Adam is holding the fig leaf to himself, as seen in Hans Memling's Adam and Eve, and Lucas Cronick's Adam and Eve. Okay, Adam, please show us the final depiction of the fig leaf. Oh, come on. There aren't that many people in here. It's okay. It'll be fast. What? <laughs> These are itchy. There are also some depictions in which Adam is wearing a sort of fig leaf and twig underwear he must have fashioned for himself in Eden, as seen in... Adam and Eve by Domino Aquino in 1623. And The Rebuke of Adam and Eve by Charles Joseph Natoire. Now, viewers, kindly take note of my fig leaf and the real Tullio's Adam's fig leaf. You will notice... We do not fit into any of those four fig leaf categories. Yes, looking at it, you'll see that Adam and Adam's leaves are not even attached to anything. Why, well, it's kind of just floating there. Well, frankly, this defies nature, so it must be a mistake. No, no, it's no mistake. Tullio Lombardo, the sculptor, could have easily connected the fig leaf to the upper tree trunk branch by simply extending that spur of marble that's already there solving this weird floating fig leaf problem and staunchly placing you both in that second fig leaf category. Oh. Well, I still think it's a mistake. Perhaps it broke off during the sculpture's original assembly and couldn't be repaired. Marble is notoriously difficult But to... why didn't he? Why? Just look at the space between the branch and the leaf. Why, it's almost crying out for a connection. But there isn't any. There is only omission. And the fact that Tullio Lombardo left it like that draws our attention to it. 
could Tullio Lombardo, the sculptor, be trying to tell the viewer the story of Adam's fall from grace without words? Could Tullio Lombardo be relying only on the visuals of a fruit, a man's troubled look, a contrapposto towards sin, and then a sudden realization of shame? Why, well, that's it. Certainly plausible. Yes, because there is a visual rhythm to the story, a rhythm. Had Tullio Lombardo connected the branch to the leaf, the rhythm wouldn't be accomplished. And all he'd be doing, I think, is kowtowing to trends and prudishness and someone else's ideas of decency. Ah, but docent, the Council of Trent wasn't for another 50 years, and nudity during the Renaissance was completely... But with the omission, we can all follow the story. Just look. A fruit, a look. A lean, a leaf. Hmm. A fruit, uh -huh. a look, a lean, a leaf. That's it! <gasps> fruit, look, lean, leaf. See, this fruit, is what art look, can do. Lean, if leaf. we harness fruit, the infinite look, power lean, of imagination fruit, and look, observation. Lean, leaf. Fruit, okay, look, all right, thank lean, you very much. Fruit, okay. Look, lean, all right, you're done. Fruit, you're done, look, Adam. Lean, leaf, Bye, Adam. Fruit, look, lean, leaf. Okay. Fruit, look, lean, leaf. Fruit, look, lean. So everything, so ladies and gentlemen, everything that you're seeing here is happening live. There's an actor in a motion capture suit at the Grace Rainey Rogers Auditorium, which is through the Egyptian wing. And so if you'd like to go see what's going on behind the scenes, please feel free to go. It's through the Egyptian wing, and I think the only, the best way to get there is to head out toward the lobby and then to make a left toward Egypt. Um, and we're going to take a 15-minute break. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Thank you so much.